Kevin, David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all's going well. Hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today we're going to learn how to play the song I Am the Highway by Audio Slave. We're going to do it like we do a lot of songs here at Epic Guitar Instruction. We strip them down and orchestrate them, arrange them for one guitar. This way if it's just you, you know, strumming and practicing or maybe you're just playing with a buddy or hanging out on your porch or at the beach or in the park, you can play this song, Cop the Feel. It's a really fun song, you know, Chris Cornell, anything Chris Cornell, I'm all in. Arguably, you know, one of the greatest rock singers of all time and such a tragedy, so sad he's no longer with us. Um, this song is just a few chords. I'm going to go over all the strum patterns. We're going to make it easy and simple to get you playing this song fast. And hey, before we get rocking, if you could do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as you'll be alerted to when we have new lessons up, right? Uh, leave a comment below. That really helps us too. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. Let us know how you like this. Uh, video. Let us know what gear you'd like to see reviewed. Leave a comment below. Share the video. Click that like button for us. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and we so appreciate your support. Let me first take you through the chords you're going to need to play this lesson. We'll get into the strum pattern. Once you basically have the intro verses and chorus down, you're going to have the whole song because it's just kind of repeated, repeated. You're going to need A minor, F major, C major, G major, you can play it like that with your pinky with three fingers, kind of makes it easy changing it from the C, you could play it like this also, or you could do the four finger G, all work, D minor, and E major. Okay, so the intro to the song on the record, uh, they kind of swell the volume in and there's like lots of reverb on it. The way I would just play that is just let the chords ring. Just four chords. You're going to play C, G, D minor, and A minor. You're going to do it twice. So I would kind of just do it like this and just let them ring. So C, G, D minor, A minor. Then repeat that. And then the second part of the intro, just hold an A minor chord and you're going to play this. I'll go over the strum after I show you this. It's uh, four times on the A minor too. Right into the first verse, the pearls and swine. So the strum pattern I'm doing on that A minor chord in the intro is just uh, down, 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 up, down, up, down. And I'm kind of muting and playing the strum. Now you could strum the whole chord if you want. I'm kind of muting uh, and I'm hitting like the low A, the low root note, the A string. So I'm going like down, just on the A string twice, down, down, down. And I'm kind of laying the palm of my hand just to mute it. Verses. The first two lines of the verses are F, C, G, and A minor. And the strum pattern we're going to do throughout most of the verses and the chorus, I'll give you the whole strum pattern, is this one. We're going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we do it slow. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And we're going to do this pattern throughout most of the song. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Play along. Now there's a little change in the third and fourth line of the verse where he plays the chord just one hit and then continues the same strum pattern. We're going to use the same trum strum pattern. It's just going to be broken up between two chords. I'll tell you what, let me play the whole first verse and, uh, and then I'll explain what I'm doing. Uh, so right from the pearls and swine, it'll sound like this.
the C goes into the chorus. I am not your uh, rolling wheels. That's into the chorus. So basically the first two lines of the verse, you play that pattern and you play the F, C, G, A minor. Now on the third and fourth, it's going to go F and then you play this C to A minor. So on the C, you just hit it one time. So that's the down is the C. Then continue the same pattern, right? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. But you change it to the A minor. So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Same exact pattern, you're just switching it and just hitting the first down on the C chord. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you do that, then it goes after the first one, it goes to the G, which you play the full pattern. Then does it again, C, A minor. Back to the F. Again, C, A minor. more time, C. Okay, it's, it's kind of easy once you get the hang of it. You're just basically breaking that strum up between two chords. And that's the verses, and verse one, verse two are the same. And if you're struggling with bar chords and changing bar chords to open chords back and forth, you know, I could really help you with that. Uh, that's a challenging aspect of guitar, and if you're not using the proper you know, bar chord fingering techniques that could really slow you down. So I'll tell you what, I'll send you a free video lesson where I have my best bar chord playing tips and all kinds of exercises. Just click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you the video lesson and also pair it with my ebook that has chord charts, more exercises and more lessons. It'll really help you along your bar chord journey. Just click on that link below. I'll send it to you for free. The verses go right into a chorus and the chorus is the same every time. It's just a matter if he's going to play it, you know, two lines to the chorus or double it, make it a double chorus. So the chords in the chorus, and this is I am not your rolling wheels, I am the highway. C, G, D minor, A minor. And then the second one, C, G, D minor, E. And on the E chord, you play it once through the strum, and the second time, you just hit it once and let it ring. And that's the first chorus. The second time he plays the chorus, I'll play in a minute, he doubles up on it. So let me play you the chorus, and we'll use that same strum pattern for the chorus. We're gonna keep it nice and easy. Obviously, once you get these patterns down and the changes and you assimilate the song, you can mix up the strum patterns, make it your own. I'm kind of just giving you an easy bass to get you going, get you started off playing, having fun, right? Uh, so here's the chorus. chorus he plays the intro again but not the CG uh, D minor A minor part just that muted A minor and he plays that four times just like in the beginning and then it goes into verse 2 verse 2 same exact thing as verse 1 and that's the verse that starts off friends and liars right um, and then it goes into the second chorus. Now the second chorus, chordal wise, is the same as the first, except he plays it twice as long. And at the end on the E chord, because he's holding out that note, ni, I, I, ni, is on the E, you do that four times on the E. Let me play you the complete second chorus, it'll sound like this. And this is again, I'm not your rolling wheels, I am the highway. Same strum pattern too. to the night, right? And next it goes, 
it has like a little kind of interlude part where there's a little kind of solo-esque guitar. Obviously we're only one guitar here, so we have to kind of keep the sound filled up. So what I think you could do on that part is just play the backing chords, but we'll lose a different strum pattern. We'll use a different one. Uh, the chords in that part will just be F, C, G, A minor, kind of like a verse four times through, but we're going to use all downstrokes and mute it, mute them, and that's how you're going to kind of cop the feel like on the record. So that part will sound like this. Right? We're just going to use all downstrokes. I'm muting it, and you can count it out like one and two and three and four and like a straight eighth note kind of thing. And right after that, it goes into a double chorus again. It's like the last chorus, the second one. But again, you're building this up because that's kind of like the point. That's when he really starts kind of getting into the vocal lines and really accenting and bending notes. He's just so good at what he does, right? Um, and that chorus is the same as the second chorus. And again, you end it on that E chord. And then after that, after the night, I, 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 it's right. Uh, it just goes back to an A minor chord, and on that A minor chord, he kind of just does it like the intro, except he does it double, does it eight times, you know, it's just that. Right? I won't do it eight times, you get the picture. Right? Here's four times. And then the last one, the eighth time, you can kind of just let it ring. That's it. That's the whole song. I hope you enjoyed this song lesson. Stay tuned. I got tons more killer lessons coming. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content. It'll let you know when we have some new lessons posted. Leave your comments below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And don't forget, um, click on the link in the YouTube description box and get that free bar chord changing, bar chord exercises. It'll really skyrocket your bar chord changing and playing to the next level. I'll send you that free video lesson and ebook. Just click on that link below. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for your support over the years. So appreciated. I hope you're enjoying these lessons and that we're helping you along in your guitar and musical journeys. Keep having fun with those guitars. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and rock on. Yeah.